Today marks a milestone new year for the Jewish community. One synagogue weeks removed from a fire heads off its new year outside of its normal sanctuary. West Jews, Tony Atkins has been in contact with the rabbi who's hoping for the best in the coming year. The opening service is a, a prayer and a blessing on a cup of wine. Rosh Hashanah, the start of the Jewish New Year. The Chabad of Greater Orlando bringing it in outside the walls of its normal sanctuary. It's an unusual event for us, yeah. displaced synagogue. Rabbi Shalom Dubov improvising the 48-hour ceremony from inside a Hilton hotel. The sanctuary now a total loss after an electrical fire. The next 48 hours, we want to focus and really plan how we want the next year to be most productive and most fulfilling. This Rosh Hashanah also marks the first since the October 7th terror attacks in Israel last year. We had major setbacks this year, including most recent events. We're confident that with the blessings of the new year, we'll have even a greater year and a more productive year. Quick, how much time you spent on the phone trying to... Yes, Corey. great. While, pretty much while the fire was still on, we were thinking about this. A trailer filled with food to hold the congregation over for several days. If we knew that the high holidays was going to be our next big hurdle, yeah. you know, especially with no space, yeah. with no, uh, no location. With a physical synagogue or not, the prayers will continue because it's what they say the world needs both during the good and during these trying times. We pray that not only is there peace in our land, which is the land of Israel, but really the entire world. We're not just praying for Jewish people, we're praying for humanity. We're praying for a better, for a kinder, for a more peaceful and a more cohesive world. In Winter Park, Tony Atkins, West 2 News.